close your eyes, watch your breath. And any thoughts that come in that say to go someplace else, just don't listen to them. As John Lee said, maybe you've got some germs going through your blood right now, and they may have some thoughts that are not in your best interest. So you don't have to listen to the thoughts that come into the mind. Just listen to the ones that tell you to do things that are going to be useful, going to be skillful. There are animals in the world. They, call, they turn their hosts into zombies. In other words, they plant their eggs in there. When the eggs come out, then they have an effect on the, the nervous system of the host, host animal getting it to do the things that the parasite wants to do. So don't become a zombie to your defilements. They're parasites on the mind. Anything you know that tells you to do something unskillful, you know, just regard it as somebody else. It's not you. Pick and choose among your thoughts. Like right now, the thoughts that say, stay with the breath. These are good thoughts because they're going to develop concentration, develop alertness develop your discernment, things that are good for you in the long run. That's what you've got to think about, the long run. As the Buddha said, a sign of discernment is knowing that if there's something you like to do but it's going to give bad results in the long run, you don't do it. You can talk yourself out of it. Something you don't like doing but it's going to give good results in the long run, you can talk yourself into doing it. That's real discernment. We read about the three characteristics, we read about the Four Noble Truths, dependent co-arising, emptiness, all these very high-sounding teachings. But what they all come down to is what's useful for you in the long run, and can you get yourself to do it? That's where the rubber hits the road, where you really get to see how useful your discernment is. So any perceptions that help you pick your way through this minefield of your mind, so that you pick and choose only the good things. Hold on to those perceptions. Any ways of talking to yourself that gets you to do what you know is right, listen to those voices inside. Other voices, just regard them as voices of germs, voices of parasites. You can let them go. You don't have to gather them up, you don't have to straighten them out, just let them go. That way you find your way through the world and don't get lost.